Ignition sequence start. Six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. Hey everybody, this is the Digital Asset Investor. I am having a sip of coffee here. My wife had gotten me in the, uh, she told me I needed to try putting cinnamon in my coffee. And so I started to get used to that. And uh, I had done it for a couple of weeks, got to where I really liked it. And now I can't find the cinnamon. So I'm having a regular cup of coffee, which is fine too. Um, and there is so much really cool news out there that I, that I wanted to share with you guys um, that uh, I'm prob today's probably going to be a little bit longer of a video than usual <clears throat> or more like my old school videos that I used to do. Uh, but I can't start without uh, talking about our market. Uh, XRP is up 21% this morning. Um, that's that's great, but uh, we're uh, as I always tell you, the total market cap for the entire market is 216 billion, and so, like I've said before, this is just peanuts, 21% in a day. That's great, but in the scheme of things, um, like they said in Back to the Future, where we're going, we don't we don't need roads. Well. That's kind of how I feel about the crypto market. Two hundred sixteen uh, billion dollars is um, is uh, absolutely nothing in the scheme of things. But we're up twenty one percent today, so that's great. I'm not uh, saying it's not. Moving along, <clears throat> I want to do something that I've never done. I don't think in any of my videos, and that is I'm going to give a shout out to a guy that runs another digital uh, asset. Uh, Justin Sun, the Tron founder, regardless of what you think of some people like Justin Sun, some don't. Um, but Justin Sun has been doing a lot of, uh, of been saying a lot of really nice things about Ripple and XRP. And for that reason, I believe he needs a shout out. Um, and I'll tell you very briefly what Tron, uh, what my understanding of Tron is about. I'm no expert, but it says Justin Sun thinks XRP surge shows financial institutions will adopt blockchain. Now, for those of you that don't know, Justin Sun used to work for Ripple. And so he went off and formed Tron. <clears throat> now, if you look at this, this is his quote. XRP and they, they uh, have a typo. XRP surge shows PNC Bank's recognition of Ripple protocol with Bill Clinton keynoting swell 2018 blockchain is going mainstream as Ripple's greater China chief rep um, and, a, and a Ripple shareholder. I'm confident financial institutions will adopt blockchain. Um, and so that was a tweet that that he did. Well, just for those of you that you don't know, uh, XRP is or, or I'm sorry. Tron, which is the symbols TRX, uh, my understanding of, of Tron is that they are, uh, he is partnering with the right companies to create a social platform like a YouTube type platform that's completely decentralized and where the creators of content will be able to be paid in, I'm assuming, Tron or other digital assets. And so, and he's the favorite son of Jack Matt. I think Jack Ma is how you say it, um, over that, that, uh, that started Alibaba, which is the largest company in China. And so apparently this guy, Justin Sun, is his protege. And so it's worthy of checking out for those of you that are looking for a, a really cheap uh, digital asset right now to, to invest in um, besides XRP. That's all I'll say about that. XRP is still the greatest digital asset ever created, but this guy deserved to get a shout out because he's helping our community, so we'll help him. Um, also, I wanted to go back to Jed McCaleb. I covered this yesterday, um, and I wanted to make the point because I think it's important. I told you yesterday, every time the Ripple price goes through the roof, you immediately start getting all these news articles. Yesterday's was from the Wall Street Journal, and they intentionally try I'm not saying Wall Street Journal in particular was doing that, but just in general, 
the FUD comes out and the and all the different news media outlets start trying uh, putting out articles that will drive the price down. Um, I'm not saying that any individual one of them is doing it intentionally. I think it's much more of a coordinated effort that those news outlets may not even know is being done. But I think it's being done by powerful people. But I wanted to make the point that they did it by saying it was trying to scare people into thinking Jed McCaleb is selling all of his XRP and trying to scare people. And then we went up 21%. So apparently, once again, we're right, they're wrong. I'm not saying he's not selling. Maybe he is selling his XRP. Probably is. And and I think that he that he was selling his XRP. But XRP is so much bigger than than Jed McCaleb. It's it's pitiful to even think that this guy right here is going to affect the future of everything. I, everything that I have talked to you about with Ripple and XRP. If you if you watch all my videos and you really see what how huge what Ripple is doing is and all the, the connections and the people and the people that are behind it and the people that are running the show, this is nothing. And so that was kind of the point I made yesterday, but I wanted to point this out up 21% after all the scare tactics, go figure. Um, this is, um, an article I, that I, that I, I kind of saw this and I was like, well, who's the De Vere? Um, it said that the, I saw this this morning. It said the Devere CEO predicts big things for Ripple XRP as usage soars. He's backing XRP due to its unique features, technologies, and problems, problem solving capabilities. So I wanted to read a couple of his quotes um, right here. There's been an immense, immensely positive buzz regarding cryptocurrencies in the last few weeks. With the standout being XRP, I believe that whilst the crypto market in general will be primarily bullish between now and the end of the year, it will be XRP that will continue to gather the most momentum in this period, he says. And then, his, he, he, then he says, cryptocurrencies are the future of money, and clearly XRP is proving to be one of the most useful cryptocurrencies for businesses, organizations, and individuals. It can be expected to become a major player in the world shift away from fiat money over the next few years, he concludes. So I wanted to go and look who the DeVere Group is, and this guy's name is Nigel Green. Um, he's the CEO of the DeVere Group. So I went to look at who the DeVere Group is. This is a big asset management company. I believe they're out of Zurich, Switzerland. I believe that's what that is. I'm not positive about that. I looked around their website to try to, I think I saw Zurich somewhere. But anyway, it, it, this set, what was interesting is this section of who we work with, they, you know, they're basically a financial planning company and help people invest. But look who they work with. The companies they work with are Morgan Stanley, JP Morgan, Goldman Sachs, the Royal Bank of Scotland, STM Group. So these, this guy is the CEO of a company that's working with the lords of finance in the world. And he believes XR, not just that cryptocurrencies are, are going to do great in the coming uh, years, but XRP is going to lead the way. And that is a good thing to know. Um, all right. I wanted to cover this. This is from yesterday and I didn't get a chance to put it up. Um, but this is an old article that I'm showing well, from a few days ago. I think I showed it to you the other day, but this was just an article about how Ripple's been working with the SEC for a better for a better understanding of the XRP coin. Okay, as you all know, they've just like they did with the Jed McCaleb story. They've held this, they've dangled this thing over everybody's heads. Oh, XRP is going to could be declared a security and da da da. And all along, I've told you that that they're not going to declare any as they're not going to declare XRP a security and and what for one simple reason, like I said yesterday. Ripple has got a five-year head start, basically on the entire crypto industry. A five-year head start, which means Ripple's based in San Francisco, and that means that in ground zero of technology, which is Silicon Valley, Ripple is the United, United States chance to be the leader in cryptocurrencies and the change in the financial world for the entire world. That's the United States opportunity is Ripple and XRP, period. And I've said it all along. And so I want to further illustrate, they had hearings yesterday, uh, a congressional hearing in the Library of Congress yesterday. 
And so I wanted to show you um, the two two of the best Twitter guys uh, out there for XRP um, put some really good content up about this uh, meeting. Ryan Zagone from Ripple was there to discuss uh, things with the congressman. Um, I want you to go, if, you, if you're not following at Bank XRP, he's great. He puts up some great content on Twitter. Um, go follow him. But he put this video up, and this was Ryan Zagone, actually, where you could see him speaking. Um, C3 Nick summarized all this, and as you know, I don't show videos on here because I don't want to get strikes on YouTube for copyright. Um, so we're going to go through, C3 Nick summarized what was said and what went on. And I thought he did a really good job. Now, those of you, I've, I've been accused of being C3 Nick, but no, I am the digital asset investor. C3 Nick is just extremely good at, good at what he does on Twitter. And I don't care who you are. If you're putting out great content on Twitter or anywhere else, I will eventually find you about XRP and Ripple. That is, I will eventually find you and I'm going to put your stuff on my channel because if you're good, you're good, and C3 Nick is good. Okay, <clears throat> um, the uh, this was Representative Davidson. He hosted a roundtable on cryptocurrencies, and then I'm just going to take you through kind of what was summarized here. Um, and, and first, C3 Nick says, "What is being said in the meeting today will be considered for upcoming legislation." Ryan Zagone. This is a quote from him. And this is where it gets interesting. We see recognition globally that blockchain and crypto assets will play a pivotal role in the next generation of finance and our national economies. And then he said, Ron Zagone says, now there are countries racing to provide regulatory certainty so they can be the winner in this race. They can essentially take a stake as the global capital of finance, which is now in the U.S. moving elsewhere. Let me read that again. There are countries racing to provide regulatory certainty so they can be the winner in this race. They can essentially take a stake as the global capital of finance, which is now in the U.S., moving elsewhere. If you think, this has been my point anytime this SEC thing has come up, if you think that the one digital asset, XRP, and one company in, in the digital asset space, Ripple, which has a five year head start on everybody else. If you think that the SEC and the United States government is going to harness them and prevent them from leading the crypto world and leading the world of global finance, you've got another thing coming. This right here is exactly what I've, what I've been saying. And this is why it's not going to be declared a security. And anybody that thinks that is out of their mind, and then Ron Zagone says, the race between countries is real. Um, and then this is where the congressman's heard all of this, okay? Once he's heard everything, I think this was towards the end. He says, the congressman says, including cryptocurrencies and how they might have that light touch regulation that I think everybody wants to see in the marketplace so they can continue to grow this thing. <laughs> so these congressmen, they know they see the writing on the wall, and I believe the SEC does too. If you remember, a couple of weeks ago, I covered what Hester Pierce, which is one of the officials at the SEC, she was basically scolding the other SEC people about why they had not approved the Winklevoss Bitcoin Trust or one of the other Bitcoin uh, investment trusts. And so that's what's going on. There's pressure building against these government officials who I think she referred to them that they needed to get out of their helicopters and, and basically she was giving them a wake up call. Well, this don't think for a minute that these Congress people are not going to give the SEC a wake up call if they have not already. That's what's going on. Okay. Now we, you, I think you can all feel it. Um, I put on Twitter yesterday, the Brad Garlinghouse last week, uh, he mentioned the, he mentioned that, that, that there's momentum building. I think that you and I and everyone can feel a bull run momentum building right now, regardless of today's 21% or last week's 100%, we can feel the momentum, the momentum building. It's like the bears are just tired, but more, more specifically the momentum for ripple and XRP and what they're building towards. 
everything that they've worked on for five years is we're right on the precipice of, of the world change that's about to occur. And it's going to occur because of Ripple and the greatest digital asset that's ever been created, XRP. Well, this is a great time for Hoder to write this blog that he wrote today. And he wrote this blog, it's called The Basics. And this is for, he knows, I think he knows that there are a lot of new people that are about, when, when this bull run really gets going, and when the, when people start seeing these percentages go up like they are today and like they did last week and the, the appreciation in XRP, you're going to see more and more investors coming. And then the floodgates are going to open as Ripple, as X Rapid goes live and as, a, as backed exchanges, some of these exchanges come online that I've been telling you about. Well, Hoder wrote this blog and it's, it's basically gives all the new people the basics of what XRP is, why it's the best digital asset. So that they're more informed and know exactly what it is that they're, they should be buying. And he's, he's not telling anybody to buying anything. I'm not either. I'm just saying he, he, he is going to, he educates you on exactly what XRP is in this blog post. So you should go, um, you should go read this and it's on, um, it's on xrcommunity.blog. Okay. But I, as I always do, I like to read you his last line or last uh, paragraph, but I'll read the last line because I think I liked it. Um, all right. As a community, each of us can talk to the people that we know or come in contact with and help spread accurate information to others. XRP will change global commerce, but we must work to help those new to the market understand its potential. And he's right. And that's what we're doing. Okay. I wanted, this is just a fun little thing that I wanted to go over with a lot of, some of you that have been listening to me for a long time. I, I think you all know where I think we're all going. And I just wanted to, I saw this on Twitter this morning. I thought it would be an, an interesting exercise. So first, let me give uh, the ripening at the under slash ripening um, is on Twitter and he's a ripple guy too. So, uh, and he, he posted up this unique bucket list. A thousand plus ideas live the dream and it gives a list um, of um, of things that people just that they have on their bucket list and I'll show it to you here we'll go I'll go down the list but I wanted to bring this up to you because um, if you believe like I believe in very short order or at least one to you know at least a six months to five years many of you that are listening to this are going to be able to live out your dreams and, and, and have a bucket list and actually do some of the things that you've always wanted to do as a result of being an XRP investor. And so sometimes it's fun to take a break and just dream a little bit. And so I, I went down this list today and I was, I was looking at a few things and I thought I'd share a couple of them with you. Um, it's just a list of, of things on, on this person's bucket list. Catch a wind, catch a wave surfing. Um, explore a cave, Let's see, ride a zip line ride. That's what this picture is. Indoor skydive, um, navigate a personal underwater sub, um, bathe an elephant, uh, hold a monkey, hug a redwood. This is something I want to do is go, I've never been out to Seattle and, and that area. Um, and I, that's something I don't need XRP to do that. Um, I may do that just traveling in general, but, um, I, I would love to go out and check, check, uh, that part of the country out. I've never done it. I will be doing a lot of traveling in the next few years. I can promise you that. Um, there's one swim with sea turtles, attend a high school reunion, um, meet someone famous. Anyway, so they had this huge bucket list. Now, one thing that I would put as the number one on my bucket list, and I hope that you all do as well, and that is to have a beer in Liechtenstein, because I plan on seeing you there. Okay. Now, I want this. I'm sorry if this video is too long, but I have a lot of you that ask me to do the long videos. But I want to share something with you. I received an email from a guy in, I believe he was in England. And he said that he heard me mention 
uh, at some point I had mentioned in one of my videos that, you know, a lot of people want to make a million dollars a year and, and have a corporate lifestyle and, and they want to, uh, they want to live that kind of life and be a high roller and all. For me, what's more, what's most important, I want to make as much money as I can make, but still have my freedom and be able to work from home and take, go and pick up my kids from school and drop them off at school and take them to hit baseballs. Um, and do things like that because there's one thing that I have always heard from anybody that's an older person later in life. The biggest regret, the, the most often heard regret that I ever hear out of anyone or have ever read is that they didn't spend enough time with their kids. And so I have made it my mission in life to do that and not just do that, but to teach them, um, all of the things that I think should be taught to put out the, the most successful and productive children out into the world. Cause that's what I see as my number one job. Well, I got an email from someone and they said, you know, I, it was, I think it was a young guy in England somewhere. And he was saying he wants to do that same kind of thing, but he doesn't know how to go about it. And so I'm going to tell you how I did it. I'm going to, well, I'm going to tell you, no, this is a little philosophical, but this is what I did. And this is what I would do if I were you, because, um, most people don't know what they're truly capable of until their back is in, is completely in a corner. There was a time in my life where my back was completely in a corner, but you don't have to have your back completely in a corner to do this. It'll work for anyone. Um, so the, the um, first thing, and th this is going to seem very simple, but I think it's really the, one of the keys to life. The first thing that I want you to do, and, and this, this person t had told me that they wanted to be able to work from home and that they wanted to be able to um, work from home and be kind of independent and do their own thing, but make a living. And so this is literally what I did. And uh, some of you may think this is hokey, but it is what I did and it will work. Trust me. Okay. You get a notepad. That, that seems very basic. And what I want you to do is I want you to write what your problem is at the top of that notepad. In this person's, I don't care what the problem is, but in this person's case, the problem is that he wants to make money from home and he wants to be able to live an independent lifestyle and make enough money to support himself and his family. That was my understanding. And what I want you to do with that notepad after you write what your problem is at the top of that page, I want you to make a list of the things that you're good at first. And I also want you to do the following. I want you to, this is the, this is, this is probably one of the keys to life right here. Most people, will go their entire lives without doing the one thing that separates human beings from every other animal on the planet. And that is our ability to think and to make decisions, our decision-making ability. I want you to, to make the list of first of things you're good at. And then I want, I want that to evolve into thinking about products and or services that in your community, that are needed. Where's a need? There, there's a need in every community. I can tell you a need for anybody listening to this right now. Now, I'll give a caveat to this. A need that is in every community across the world right this second that someone, if, if they did it right, could make tons of money off of. I've even thought about doing it myself, but you have to figure out what the, lo the laws are in your country and in your city and your state and how you would go about it. That's part of your problem to solve. But here's one idea is a, is a crypto consultant. I can't tell you how many people are dying to be able to figure out how to get into cryptocurrencies right now. And without being an investment advisor, there's got to be a way that you can consult people and just say, okay, first you go to Coinbase and then you go to Binance and give them the entryways. And then you, all the things I talk about on this channel, 
could be turned into a consultancy business where you're not making money on the transactions, but you could get a fee just for information. Uh, and, and again, you got to check your local laws and things like that on that. But a consultancy, that's a business boom right there. But my point, and back to what I was saying, most people go their entire lives and they never sit down, make a, write down what their problem is, make a start to think. And the key words think, think about the th the solutions that you could have to that problem and think about the, the, the product or service that solves existing problems in your community and in my opinion, one of the, the, the internet is one of the greatest places with the greatest opportunity to solve problems. But now we have now, like in my community, uh, there's no excuse in the world for somebody not being able to make a living in, in the community I live in. We have Uber. We have, um, this, the waiter app now with those two things alone. You also have Lyft, which is like Uber with those three things alone. Anybody in any community that has any of those can begin to make a living and support their family if they're willing to work hard and and uh, do things right. But back to what I'm saying. So you have a list of these products and services and, and problems and uh, lists of what, what you're good at or what you're passionate about. And you, you narrow this list down. And at some point, your gut's going to start talking to you. But what I want you to do is I want you to take this list and I want you to read through this list every morning. I want you to take 30 minutes every morning when you wake up, read through this list, add to it and take away as necessary. And at some point, your gut is going to begin to scream at you and you're going to know you're on the right idea. Um, because here's what you've just done. When you, when you write down that problem and then you put the, and then you begin to make that list, you've just put your brain to work. And what you don't, a lot of people don't realize is that your subconscious will begin to work on a, on a problem even while you're asleep. And I, that may sound hokey to some of you, but do it and then prove me wrong. Because once you put your, once you put your brain to work, how many of you out there, just think about it. When you're really worried about something or you're really thinking about something or there's an issue in your family or at work. How many times do you wake up in the middle of the night and something pops in your head? That's because your subconscious mind is at work even while you're asleep. The power there is something that probably will never be understood, but it's probably a more powerful thing than anything in our lives is your subconscious mind. So what you do then is you keep that, you keep that notepad beside your bed while you sleep. I used to watch, I've probably seen every episode of Seinfeld from the 90s, and I used to watch Jerry Seinfeld was a comedian on the show. He's a comedian in real life. He was also a comedian on the show. He kept a notepad beside his bed, and every once in a while on the show, you would see him wake up laughing, and he would write, a, a joke would pop into his head, and he would write it down on his notepad. Same premise, same concept for you. And so um, at some point, um, when you finally know you've found the solution, I want you to go at it like you've never gone at anything before because an idea is nothing if you're not going to put your gunpowder work ethic and go at it as hard as you can go at it. And I want to finish you with two quotes and I'm talking to you, uh, guy in England. <laughs> Sorry, I, I wasn't going to put your name out there because I didn't know if you wanted your name known. Um, I'm going to finish you with two quotes. This is from Napoleon Hill. The starting point of all achievement is desire. Keep this constantly in mind. Weak desire, weak results. Just as a small fire makes a small amount of heat. So ask yourself, how big is your fire? Because that's relevant. And I want to finish you with the last quote. You become what you think about all day long. And that's Ralph Waldo Emerson. This right here, if you want to sum up a life, a meaningful life, this is what it comes down to. You decide what you want to be and you become exactly what you think about. I'm the digital asset investor. I'm not an investment advisor. This is for entertainment purposes only. I want you to please subscribe and hit the like button. And if you have not gotten your Ledger Nano S, 
and you're not protecting your digital assets offline with a uh, Ledger Nano S, then this is all for nothing. If you haven't done it, Ledger Nano S, you can get it in the description of all of my videos. It'll take you right to their site and you can get one. Um, and so I really appreciate everybody listening and I'm really excited for what I know is coming here shortly. You should be too. Thanks for listening.